If I had to start at IPA from zero, here's exactly what I would do to pass the FE on the first try. Hey guys, Happy New Year. I'm Kenza from Jenny Prep, and after helping over 2,000 students pass the FE exam, I've realized that how you start matters way more than how much you study. So if you're ready to finally get your EIT this year, comment FE 2026, and here are the three phases I would follow from day one. Phase one, the setup. Before you start studying, you need four things. The FE specifications, latest reference handbook, FE proofed calculator, and your study space. Now, I actually covered each of these in short videos. They're packed with tips, and I promise you guys, it will save you a ton of time during your FE prep, during the actual exam, and help you stay consistent. So watch those right after this video. Now, once you have that set up, then you move on to the next step, which is study material. If I was studying over, I would probably spend a full week searching for the right study material. This is where most students get trapped. They just grab the first book they see or take a course a friend recommended and realize later on that it doesn't cover what's on the exam or it doesn't explain concepts well. So you need to make sure that you are studying what's actually on the exam. If I'm purchasing a course, here's what I'm looking for. Does the instructor explain concepts clearly or do they just read the slides? Do they show how to set up FE problem using the reference handbook? Do, do you get support in case you get stuck? And most important, does it cover what's on the exam and is it up to date? Because if your materials are not aligned, you can study for months and still feel lost and not make progress. I would also check for real reviews and testimonials. I'd look on Reddit and I'll search YouTube for honest opinions. If you want the exact FE resources at pick, go ahead and comment FE resources and I'll share those with you guys next. You can also grab our free FE book. A lot of students find it really helpful. And if you want a structured plan, we also offer FE courses with new flexible plans and they've helped so many people pass the FE exam. So make sure to check those out. Phase two, the schedule. Now, once I have the right materials, the next step is the schedule. If you don't have a schedule, you won't show up every day, you won't make progress, and you won't pass the FE exam. So I'd block two hours a day. I am a morning person, and I tried the 4 a.m. club. I wanted to get work done before my daughter wakes up. But honestly, it was too hard. 90% of the time, I would turn off my alarm and just go back to sleep. And so I decided to switch my schedule to nights and see if that would work better for me in this phase of my life. And after my daughter goes to sleep, I will try to work from 9.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. But at first, I was exhausted. And here's what changed everything for me. I do 10 to 15 minute workout, nothing crazy, just enough to wake my brain up. And that's what helps me focus better, get more work done, and actually stay consistent. So the main point here, guys, is that you find a window that works for your real life right now. That's what makes this sustainable, and that's what leads to passing. Phase three, the review method. This part is the thing I didn't do enough of before, which is review. Now, I got this from Stephen, one of our students, and it's simple but powerful. So at the end of every study session, spend 30 minutes reviewing what you just learned. Not rewatching everything, just skim through your notes, rework two or three missed problems, rewrite key concepts, and summarize the why behind the equation setup. You can also do mini review sessions throughout the day during lunch or during your workout or before bed. That's spaced repetition and it really helps with retention. So if I was starting my FE prep in 2026 from day one, here's the structure. Week one, the setup. Week two, pick the right study material and then block two hours every day with a quick 10 to 15 minute workout to help with focus and end every session with 30 minute review to help with retention. Now, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out our channel. We have so many tip videos and FE problems to help you pass your FE exam. And remember guys, you don't need perfect days. You need consistent days. Start smart. Stay consistent and you will pass your FE exam in 2026. And when you do pass your FE, come back to this video. Let us know in the comments. We love to hear your success stories and you don't know who you will inspire. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. À la prochaine.